So in this video I'm going to show how to make a refillable twin DOS container out of one of these single-use containers that comes with uh, one of these Miele machines. So what is twin DOS? Uh, if you're too lazy to fill in your detergent every time, you can take one of these canisters. This the two detergent here. Put it in the machine. Myself here. Take the cap off, put it in the machine, it clicks in, and voila. No more having to put in softener and detergent every time. This is the softener phase. Now, the issue here is that one of these things right now on Amazon in a refillable version costs 33 euros. So I'm going to be spending 60 euros on more than that on shipping, 70 something. I'm getting just a lid on a canister that I already have. Now, I had one of these. My first attempt at doing this was uh, involved <clears throat> trying to screw with this opening over here. But that's a bad idea. So this is, uh, I try to pry this out. So this is what keeps the um, canister from, <clears throat> like when, when it consumes the detergent, it lets air in. Because otherwise it would just get blocked by the negative pressure. Now, a really good way to do this, I think, and what I'm going to do in this video, is that I'm going to use one of these caps that comes with the containers themselves to seal it. And another important thing to keep in mind here is that because this, this plastic cap um, is needed for the locking mechanism, whatever thing you have uh, as a DIY to uh, refill it, it it has to be pretty much flush with the top of the canister. It can't stick out that much. So what are we going to need to do all this? Um, we're going to need one of these caps, first of all. We're going to need some scissors. Um, for convenience, I'm using a, just a sewing needle here. So what this gives me in the end, is a way to just grab onto these really easily. It's not strictly necessary, but it's really nice. And we're gonna need a power drill and something like a 12 millimeter drill. Now, the op if I measure the opening of this one, uh, oof, so it snaps back over here. So, let's zero this out. So this one's, you know, 13.2 millimeters, but I found that if I just make a 12 meter, millimeter hole here, it's gonna fit in really snugly. Now, the only 12 millimeter drill I happen to have, and it's gonna be comical, is this humongous wood drill. So I'm gonna drill a pilot hole first with a, some smaller drills, starting with four perhaps. I can't remember how I did this the last time around. Let's see, let's put this on. It doesn't drill mode. Let's lock it up. Let's put away a couple of these things. We're gonna need later. Um, let's drill in right around here. That's about where I had the other one. So four millimeter out. Let's do a bigger one. Let's do. I don't know. It's, uh, to a six, let's step it up fully. I really want this opening to be smooth, so I don't want to... Be careful with that, I guess. That's a six. Now we're up to an eight. Uh, and finally, for one of my comically oversized drills can't even see this here it's gonna be a humongous 12 mil drill great well I managed to puncture the bottom of the container it's gonna be an easy fix but uh, should be more careful there Let's proceed anyway. 
plugging a hole is easy. Making this lid is not. So I use a carpenter's knife to smooth this out a bit. See my detergent leaking down there at the bottom. And um, let's quickly prototype just how this is going to fit in here. So, this is the first time around I did this. I had to screw around with this a bit. The plastic melts a bit. Stuff for the scissors, perhaps. I'm going to have to be careful to get all these plastic pieces out by raising the container. Otherwise they may end up in the machine. It's always quite stubborn the first time around. I'm really trying to not overdo the size of the hole, so this is taking me a while. I really want this to fit snugly, taking a tiny bit at a time. Just eyeballing where it looks to be regular. Getting there. One thing I can't remember, did I? If I trim the tip of this. No, I didn't. So, uh, fit in more easily. I also seem to recall that getting this in was easier once I do the actual trimming. Now it finally fits in the hole. I'm sort of skipping towards the end here. I happen to have a funnel that fits really snugly into one of these things. So you're using that to shape this up. It's a good idea. So now it's gotten to a really good size. So the next thing I'm gonna do to trim this and get this uh, get this thread through it. Now, you might think that this would cause a leak, and you'd be right. But in practice, it doesn't matter because this is the the container is inclined, and it's at the very tail end of the top of it. So it doesn't actually need to be waterproof. You just have to be careful when you're <coughs> refilling it to not tilt it around in such a way that it's gonna it's gonna leak out. So I so am. Yeah. Where did I put the needle? Here. So this is easy. I'm just gonna stick this through here. Pick the smallest needle I could find here. 
Pienen edestä hän luo. Now I've already made a... Have I... I'm supposed to have made a knot on the end of this rope. So I think I can just trim the end of that. So stick this through again here. Just oh man, try to run it through this loop. I think that's a better idea than. I did the first time around. Hmm. Well, now of course it's out the wrong way. Well, <clears throat> no matter. Let's take it through one more time. Now I've got a thread to hold on to. So let's just tie this off here. Get a small knot over here. Cut this off. And drop the needle. So then what I'm going to do just to cut around the edge of this. Being careful not to cut the cord. Could have been a better idea to do this uh, to this first, but no biggie. Really cutting up to the edge here. So otherwise it's gonna protrude too much. Now, mm, let's pop this one in. It's the old one. Let's try out the new one. Voila! Now, aside from the small matter on the leak from the trail here, this is perfect. Now, all I need to do is to put in this funnel. Pour in some detergent. 